Welcome to the Future Shop Comedy Show Podcast, Episode 17, uh, sponsored by DJ's Detailing, the best detailing business in the area. Um, he's uh, goddamn good. Uh, I want to introduce our uh, guest for the night. He's going to be headlining our shows uh, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, tonight at Jen's Place, then tomorrow at Bottoms Up in Bay City, and then you will be, uh, we'll be flipping rolls. And you'll be featuring for me, and we're going to be in uh, Port here on, on Friday. So we're yes. doing three shows together in a row. We're, we're a powerful team. That's right. We are the uh, the uh, the chocolate Sunday of comedy. That's right. I'm getting demoted that quickly, going from headliner to feature. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, give it up for uh, Cam, big fellow. Hey, how you guys doing, man? This uh, this guy is ultra talented. He's one of my uh, one of my longest friends in comedy. That's right. um, even though I. Even when I first met him, I didn't know that we were gonna that we were gonna cross paths ever again because <laughs> where where did I first meet you? It was at the Ha Ha Comedy Club in uh, where is it North, North Hollywood? North Hollywood, yeah, off yes. of Lakership, right? Yes, and we're North both working. Now. We're both working at the same place. That's right, man. We were both working for well, I don't know if you were working for free because oh, probably, I was working for a quesadilla oh, and a cherry coke. Really? That's what I was working for. You're you a better businessman than that, so yeah. I was surprised that you. Yeah. Well, I, well <laughs> I tried to negotiate a better deal, and they're like, nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well he uh, Jack. Jack doesn't play that. Yeah, no, he doesn't. He's <laughs> like, he's like, what is the case of not the case of not tasty? <laughs> he's like, you come into my house. Yeah. And, and he was like, you're, are you not learning? Are you not learning uh, right now? And Jack will put you. But shout out to Jack because Jack did give me one of the first people to give me a first shot. Man, I worked security for him. For free, he told me not to tell anybody. <laughs> that, but, hey, the Future Comedy Show knows Jack. Yeah, we all know. We all know Jack is got, <laughs> Jack is the king of free labor, but yeah. he gets talented people because he does, he, man. Because what? Because he did, probably did the same thing in you. He's like, I can tell, man. You look like a really funny guy. You oh, stick yeah. around here, just do a little things for me, and man, I'll put you on the stage, right? Yeah. And, and oh, you know what he did? He took a picture of me and he put it. Well, he didn't put it on his wall, but he took a picture. And one day I'm gonna put you on my wall. Yeah. And well, that like he got me. I was like, oh, okay, you don't have to pay me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. But I really, I owe a lot to that place too because, uh, I mean, in that point of time, it's like you're not going to get paid anyways. It doesn't matter, no matter where you're going to go. You're not going to get paid. But you can learn a lot. That's what exactly, I learned. Man. I learned a ton about uh, marketing and how a comedy club works from the inside. And now I think that's a, a big reason why uh, the Future Comedy Show is growing and growing and growing. Yeah, 2,500 likes I just heard the Future Comedy Show. Oh, so yeah, we're going ha- we're going ham on there. Uh, Maggie Zimmerman's watching. She says, What's up, Maggie? Ooh, Maggie. She'll be at the show probably. Maggie's is the best. Yeah, yes. Maggie is the best. She's a great supporter of uh, comedy. Oh, the best supporter, man. So Better than my mama. <laughs> so let's uh let's rewind it back and we we were there in beautiful sunny uh, Los Angeles and then you uh got on a TV show. I did, man. I was uh first week in Hollywood, man. This is see this can happen to anybody. Yeah. If you're black and 69, it can happen. <laughs> but no, I was I was out in uh Hollywood first week out there. This guy, Sean Kelly, who happened to be a comedian. I didn't even know him at all. He said, "Hey, man, you want to be on my show?" And I was like, no, he said, you want to be on my show working security? I thought he meant, like, working security yeah. after the show. And I was like, no, man, I'm an actor. I'm trying to make it. Yeah. He was like, no, I mean, on my show, dumbass. I was like, yes, you know I do, sir. <laughs> so I was just supposed to do one episode, and they liked me, and they kept me on for three seasons, man. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, man. What, uh, what was your favorite? Like, now, because that leads to later on stuff that we're going to talk about in a little bit, but... What was it like when you find like I mean you really never had the str- the struggle of a comedian you just went there for a week and then got on a show oh, yeah, and- they, yeah man they, so yeah my first time on TV it was mainly like improv stuff but two of the guys were comedians Sean Kelly and a guy named uh, Terrell Wright who's comedian Kool Aid's little brother and um, we actually you know they kind of took me under their wing because I was brand new yeah. Sean said how long ha-, he asked me how long I've been doing comedy I told him six months because I wanted to sound like a vet yeah it was really like two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been here for a long time working security. Yeah. So he, he actually had a comedy club at a Hooters down the street on Hollywood Boulevard. Oh yeah, and I did that six days a week. Six days a week, you yeah, did that. Six days a week, he gave me all that stage time, man. No way. And I got really good, really fast. Well, I got a lot better, really fast. Yeah, actually. yeah, yeah. And, and you, you're really funny. You're really funny uh, then, but you're hysterical now. Yeah. I mean. I remember uh, you bearing me. You featured for me uh, like a year ago yeah. uh, in like some little ass town. I forget where it oh, was. Oh, uh, it was Millersburg. I remember that. Millersburg. Yeah, <laughs> you do. That's exactly it. And yeah, you uh, you destroyed. You had oh, those people rolling, and then I felt like an idiot 
from following you. Did uh, you really? Mike always talks about that. You act like you see, but you didn't bomb though. You act like you bomb. Oh, I didn't bomb, but there's like a thing. Like if you're gonna headline the show, you gotta bring the heat. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's true, man. You gotta bring the heat. Yeah. You had it. You but had then the it. second night you brought it. Second night you brought it, but you brought it even. You're hot. I was hot, man. You're hot that night. I was hot that night. Like, like, that, was, that, that was a great weekend. You're like man. Nellyville. <laughs> you're fucking hot. Is it hot in? Hot in here. It no, was. man, it's good, man. Sometimes, you know, you just feel it. I was feeling it. You were feeling it. You know? Hey, do you have your phone on you? Yeah, I do. Will you hand it to uh, Serena? Oh, yeah, she'll, sure. she'll like and share it on your pages. Okay, and then cool. And we'll get some, some, uh, some more uh, people watching. Cool. Uh, my sister said, I wish I could go to your next show. Or And, and her, yeah, she's all the way up in Wyoming. Uh, hopefully you can. And maybe uh, you want to do a road trip with me? Yes, of course, you man. You want to go to Wyoming in the summer? Yes, dude. Let's go, man. Dude, there's a place called the Silver Dollar out there. And uh, well, I got to contact my brother, drinks there. Or I mean, really? we, yeah, and he's like, "Oh yeah, you should do it." And they've had a comedy show before. It's just I got to figure out when we can go. So it's free alcohol and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know about all that, but we can try to put in the contract. At least get you a Red Bull. Yeah, well, you I, know? I don't drink anymore. I'm trying to be like Mike Ball. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you save a lot of money not drinking. Do you really? And you well, and you make a lot less stupid decisions. Oh God, I know. I well, listen, I don't drink as much as I used to though. Yeah, because I used to drink a lot. I got well, wait. Is she sharing it on Facebook yet? Never mind. I I, I don't drink at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my thirties. I'm still trying to uh, hide from my family because they don't play that stuff either, man. Yeah, they don't play. They don't. They like my little camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I was I was a good guy. I was perfect in everybody's eyes, man. Yeah, and your mom was like, "My baby Cam." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She was good. I, I love him. He don't drink. He don't drink. He don't do it. Yeah, that's what she calls me lazy as hell. She's like, "Yeah, he doesn't do shit." <laughs> Oh wait, this is PG thirteen. Oh uh, yeah, well, I mean, we can say pretty much whatever we want. It's oh okay. Facebook, but yeah, well, you know, okay, good. Well, hey, Facebook, what's up? Facebook, <laughs> Facebook in the house. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, you got to you got to blow me out of the water twice, and then well, I don't know if I blew you out of the water, man. Like Mike always says that I did. <laughs> yeah, he no, did. No, no, you no, did. No, you no, did. No. You did. But then I got you back. You I got you back in. Uh, oh, yeah, tell him, tell him. <laughs> the funny, funniest thing. Cam was closing out the show this time, and uh, this was like a tough room. There was like people talking everywhere, and I just go up there, and I and I just uh, and I just do my thing. I do my crowd work. I'm just getting it in. I'm just getting it in, feeling good. I have an awesome set, and uh, Cam and I, and then Cam goes up there and crushes too, and we're standing right next to each other, next to this bathroom. And this guy comes up, he goes. Good set, man. And then Cam's like, thanks. And then he like looked back at Cam. He's like, oh, you too. <laughs> yeah, which, uh, you know, and I, I was, you know, I'm usually humble, but that day I was like, oh, thank you, sir. I know you're talking to me. And he's like, no, actually, I wasn't talking to you. I finally, I finally got you back, man. You did, man. One year later, dude. You did. That's what's been keeping me motivated. Yeah, my, man. I my think weedies. you got buffed since then. Mike's been working out ever since that day I blew you out the water. Yeah, dude, I, I've been doing push-ups like, oh, camera roll, man. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So if you blow me out the water this weekend, I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to get you back. <laughs> You'll do great tonight because uh, the, the audience at Jen's going to love you. They're oh, gonna, good, Oh, man. yeah, man. I'm the great say. audience at Jen's. No, man, you always have Mike. Seriously, I'm not just saying this because I'm on this podcast. Mike puts on some of the best shows in Michigan, man. Yeah, oh. not the best, honestly, man. Oh well, I will take that for for uh, I'll take that and put it in my back pocket. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, you you uh, you've been able to do uh, quite a few of mine, and yes. you did my Christmas show last year, which was really fun. Yes, man. A, that was a real fun show. You crushed it. Thanks, and man. We had Santa Claus there and a oh, yeah. packed <laughs> house. And that was a great show. And yeah, you're back great. one year later. You're almost gonna do the Christmas show, but I was like, no, uh, that was. We were going to have Boogie on that night, and we did have Boogie Boogie's on that night. Funny, man. And I, I couldn't have both of you guys on the same show because yeah. it was too much talent. Yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. too much. I got to spread it out like a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You know? Yeah, just Boogie's funny. I saw him, um, actually, my first time seeing him was on the Kevin Hart special. He, he crushed that. Yeah. So I was like, wow, man. You've never seen him live? No, no, no. No. Never seen him live. No. Oh, the funniest thing about I did uh, the punchline in Southfield. Yeah. And that's where you're from, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Southfield. In Southfield? 80s Southfield, though. Not, not this Southfield that you see right now. And so, uh, so. I was at the Punchline Southfield, and I was doing there uh, doing a set. Uh, Kimberly Allen uh, got a hold of me, said, "Come down to a set, do 15 minutes or whatever." And I sing in a room that was like just like kind of like everybody was just sitting on the outside, and then yeah. like nobody was on the inside, and it was like slowly just filling up. And he did something I've never seen anybody do. He just told the DJs like, "Hit the music, dance party," and then literally. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest asses I've ever seen just got on stage and just started jiggling. I was like, oh my God. Did you, can wait, you just... wait, wait, he, what, so he, he had a party in the middle of his set? He just said, stop, dance party. Oh, and everybody funny. just got up and started dancing. It was like, that's it was funny. something you've seen in Chappelle's skit. You're like, what is happening? Is like, is this real life? Wait, and they knew what to do? They all just did it. They all just were like, ah. I was like, 
I was like, holy shit, that's amazing. That's amazing. I was like, I was like, you need to do that at my show. We need to get a dance party going. That is hilarious. So he he didn't set it up. He just said like they just knew. They yeah. Dance party. Uh, yeah. It wasn't like hey, man, there's gonna be a dance party in a little bit. Like you know. Like, Damn you man, it. shout out to Boogie. That's good man. That that's, is, that's controlling the room. Yeah, that was no doubt the the coolest shit I ever seen. I was like, this is awesome. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a whole thing I talked about my whole side. I was like, this is my favorite room. You guys just bust out in dance parties. Were you the only white guy there? Oh uh, yeah, really? uh, yeah, of course. Oh, that's funny. Man. I think so. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, I had an awesome set. Um, and then I love it because I, I love it because there's a difference between uh, like a black room and a white room. Yeah. White room, you know, they'll they'll tell you that they like you by just like just giving you a nice applause, like right. good job, thank you, you know. Yeah. But, if uh, somebody in a black room likes you, they'd like get up, run across the room, and oh, like, man. oh, he's all right. I like this That's guy. The best. <laughs> and, uh, That's the best, man. And that was the best feeling. I was like, I was like, I'm in. <laughs> you know? I was like, yeah. And I, I don't know if they did see, but I know like black people always like if I'm doing a black room or black people period. Before I go up, they like size me up and they be like, "You better be funny." I'm like, "Yeah, what if I'm not? You gonna shoot me?" Uh, well, I've, I've you had... get threatened, man. You get threats, like you know, they want to see you got to bring it. Yeah, you do got to bring it, and that's you know, because like Mike F said, the average black person is funny, and they you know, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, that's well, it's funny. Cause I do, I've uh, ran the Hill Show for a super long time, a predominantly white community. There's you know a couple a couple of black people, yeah. but predominantly white, and they would always they would always be like. Bring the bring the black guy back, and I'm like, <laughs> who are you talking about? You, I'm like, you know, I know more he's than like, one black person, right? He's like Jeter, Josh Adams, Camro, uh, Boogie. Yeah, uh, I mean, just bring them all. Bring them all. Yeah, for real, because <laughs> they, they're, they're like they're the funniest, and I would have to I would have to agree. I'm not trying to start a race war or anything, but black people are inherently more funny. I think. And while we're in the subject, black porn is the best too. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What is it about black porn that <laughs> brings it to the... It's just, you know, it's the aggression. I don't know what it it's is. The it's the aggression. Uh, Blaine Alex, Andrew uh, Morales is watching. What's up, Blaine? Thanks for tuning in. What's up? What's up? Uh, yeah, go ahead and say anything. If you have any questions for uh, Cam or I, just uh, type in. Uh, we'll definitely uh, shout you out if you want a shout out. Uh, tonight we're gonna be headline or we're gonna be doing a show. Cam will be headlining tonight and tomorrow. Tonight at Jen's place in Hemlock, Michigan, and then tomorrow at Bottoms Up at, in Bay City, Michigan, uh, at 8 p.m. both nights. Uh, should be fantastic shows. They've been packed out. So yeah, if man. you want, call just make reservations. Just look them up on Google and you just call them. They'll save you a spot. That's right, man. And uh, you know, if, if you guys are wondering, I know you guys do have a couple of questions. Six foot nine and two inches from the ground. So uh, dang. So, Oh, uh, who's watching? Oh man, my boy Keith Weber is watching, man. Oh, Keith, Keith Weber. Keith, I should do a joke about Keith, man. Keith, I don't know if I told you that, man. What's the joke about Keith? Can we do? I it? do. You know, I talk about you know having a um, having a. I said one of my best friends, Keith Weber. He's a he's a white Republican from Texas. Oh shit! Then that's Keith. Yeah, that's <laughs> Keith, man. Doesn't have a racist bone in his body besides being a white Republican. From Texas. <laughs> <laughs> that's Keith. Yeah, no, I, remember Keith Keith great, the, I remember Keith. Great, man. I remember Keith from your set. <laughs> yeah, Keith is good, man. That's the one about the swimming pool, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love <laughs> Keith, man. Look, and, and, oh, and we talking about stereotype. This white dude jumps yeah. higher than anybody I've ever seen. He he's on my basketball team. Oh, okay, yeah. This dude can jump like Jason Richardson, man. So uh, I don't know if he still can, because I think he owns a law firm or something like that, but the dude, <laughs> the dude is incredible, man. Like, so, he's have crazy hops. So you you were just talented. You're just not a talented guy in comedy. You were talented uh, in sports as well. You yeah, I'm a, talented, or either 6'9 and the son of an NBA player, but you yes. know, he's the one. Oh, yeah, tell all these people about this. <laughs> I'm sitting with a, a, legend's, a legend seed right here. Yeah, man. So, you know, my father, Curtis Rowe, was a big time uh, basketball player. Uh, he's really played in the NBA for ten years, but he's really more known for playing in college because he played for UCLA under Coach John Wooden. Oh yeah, and won three national championships. Two of them without Kareem Abdul-Jabbar or Bill Walton. He wow, was the star of that team. Him, and my godfather, Sidney Wicks, were the stars of those teams back then. Dang, yeah, and so. that's amazing. That's a, isn't that like the coolest thing though? Like yeah, that's cool, history. man. It's cool, man. Until you say you want to play basketball too, and you don't really, you know. And it, but you played college basketball. I did play, so I was good, you know. Yeah. But everything is always looking at. It's like I can only imagine like what Michael Jordan's kids feel like. Man. Oh yeah, they're probably good too. But you know, they look at my dad and be like, okay, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's like Louis C.K. is your dad, and you're killing it. You're like, <laughs> you know. That's so funny. That's a bad example. If anybody's watching and they uh, know who Mitch Gill is, he looks like uh, the skinny version of Louis C.K. And I do. <laughs> And I do have a picture of Louis C.K., uh, a Rolling Stones uh, cover photo that I framed before his allegations of masturbation. And it's on my wall. I'm not taking it down. I'm not sorry about it. But uh, Cam looked at it and he goes, 
Is that a picture of Mitch Gill on your wall? I thought it was Mitch. Shout out to Mitch. Looks just like Louis C.K. He could be a stand-in if his career well, if it picks back up. Then, you know. Shout out to Louis C.K. Yeah, Louis. Well, you know, what are you going to do? We don't need to talk yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just in that, case, you know. I think that's, that's been beaten to death. That, that, story. <laughs> that was that was Mike Ball. Uh, just in case you get back on, Louis. Uh, yeah, well, I like Louis C.K. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, of course, I don't you got know. it right on your wall. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know what to even think about that. What, either. man? Just what each show. What, 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 what? Why is he Everybody's so PC now. They just yeah. that. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, well, if you want to know how I really feel about it, that's the end show. Aziz, Aziz, I'm sorry, did you see that? Yeah, I actually, I actually did, a, I did a TV show with Aziz, man. Yeah? Yeah, man, it's called Comedy Bang Bang. Comedy Bang? Oh, yeah. I did one episode. Aziz, was, I was his security, and I used to pick him up. I, I would pick him up, and I'd throw him on the couch, and he, he called me Donald. He said, thank you, Donald. <laughs> I actually got a clip, man. I can, I can send it. Cool. Yeah, well, why didn't you do that? We could have promoted that shit. Like, I know, that would be cool. But it's funny when, well, like... Well, we can't promote it now, because, you know... Yeah, well... I, well, from what I'm reading, there's, like, a backlash that, like... That from... Because if you read the article, uh, like, she, like, claimed that, like, she didn't really feel comfortable or whatever. But also in the article, she said that she gave him oral sex, and he gave him oral sex, too. Did you read that? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. So, so it, I, I thought she gave more sex twice. Yeah, so that's like but that's I, hard to say. Like after you suck somebody's dick and then be like, "Oh, I didn't really feel comfortable, but I'm out of here." You yeah, know, like, but I'm a PC guy, so um, that didn't happen. No, Sorry. <laughs> this didn't. No, I, we'll I, I, edit this right out. Of no, 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 no. I mean, you know, from what I read, she said she sucks his dick twice, and you know, they, it was kicking it. And I'm reading it. I'm trying to see, you know, what he did, but. Not to sound well, insensitive. I, I didn't read to the part where he did something yet. So yeah, well, but I didn't finish it. So I, I, I well, don't know what he did. It's hard to say, but I know. I just know for a fact I'm not hugging anybody without permission. That's what it is. I'm I'm getting permission for hugs. I'm I'm getting contracts. I'm, yeah, I'm doing it. And I just think about you know like being an athlete in college and stuff like that and oh, just having yeah. fun. You know what I mean? Like we, I mean, like we had fun. We were always you know respectable towards women or whoever, man. But you know somebody could. On the other side of that, somebody could come out and say, you know... Whatever they want. You did something, you know, 20, 30 years from now. Well, I, I know I didn't do shit. So well, anybody said... Yeah, but that's kind of what happened to Ezekiel Elliott. Did you hear that? You know, no. the, the running back? Well, there's allegations that he had domestic abuse, and there's a bunch of cops, there's a bunch of things filled out. But then there's also text messages that said, I'm going to ruin your career, nobody's going to believe you over a white girl. Like, also in there. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. So, and then... in. He got suspended for six games, and it went back and forth, Shut went up. back. And I did it, not hear that. And it was just over allegations. There was nothing even even on the thing. So that's crazy, man. Well, it's crazy, but now, but with the NFL, with what happened with Ray Rice mm. and uh, with that kicker that beat up his girlfriend, is that they're taking they're, they don't want any bad press. There's a better to just suspend them. Yes, yeah. call it good. But isn't that crazy? That is crazy, man. But I, on the other side is if you are, I mean, yeah, if something happened and you do, you should speak up, yeah. Yeah, That's you it. should say something. I think on either on either side, you should speak up and tell the truth. Yeah, tell the truth. If it happened, tell the truth, man. Because that's a scary. That's a that's a scary tool. That's that a, is scary. Especially with social media. Social media is the the tool that can end anybody. Yeah. And it, it's already happened. Uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of people. Then you know, Harvey Weinstein, he's down. And I oh, think yeah. he. And let's be real, that guy's probably a real creep. That's a real oh, creep. yeah, I can see that. And Cosby, you know, I was, Co- I was in Co- denial of Cosby for a long time. <laughs> yeah. after, you, know, you had to be in denial. I, I was a huge Bill Cosby fan, man. Like, really, really big. And I'm just like... Why? Yeah. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> man, of all people, man. Because Cosby was that one person. Like, you would see Flavor Flav, and be like, well, at least we got Cosby over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, Cosby doesn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he now was always... Have Obama, I guess. We got Obama and... Uh, yeah. Mike Jeter. That's it. <laughs> Mike Jeter. <yeah. laughs> Mike Jeter, you're our last hope, man. Uh, Jeter, if you're listening, man, what's yeah. up, man? <laughs> You'll watch it. You'll watch it in 10 years when somebody's like, hey, you were on the bar. Right, they right. talked about you. <laughs> um, Keith said, do the super cat. Oh, that's hilarious, man. You got the super cat? Do it. So, no, I can't do it right. So, we. <laughs> the super cat is the exercise. This is when I used to exercise back in the 90s. Yeah. I play basketball. So it's like this machine that you put on your shoulders and, and you jump up and down. Yeah. And one time I was doing it and my, and my shorts fell down. And, you know, <laughs> so they always say, do the super cat. That's hilarious. Uh, they they, they call it the super cat after, after that happened. Man. Yeah. Well, you, now you're a legend. You're now, a legend. That's right. That's right, man. But you, uh, so you, 
you got on the show. You got yes. on the uh, storage hunters. Storage hunters. You said it right. Yes, I. He usually always says storage wars, like you and everybody else. But uh, you did, you did the show, and then they were claiming for you. You have a big fan base in UK, and you just went on tour. Yes, man. Tell us about what it was like in the UK. So incredible, man. So I, I went over there actually in 2015. We did the uh, Leicester. How do you pronounce it? Leicester Comedy Festival. I think it's yeah. Leicester. Um, Americans say Leicester, but it's actually Leicester. Yeah. So I did that comedy festival, sold out show, uh, small theater, like a hundred seat theater. Me, Sean Kelly, and Terrell did it, and we killed it. And the promoter came up to Sean later on and said, hey, man, I'm going to book you guys. Because the show still comes on over there. Yeah. It's, um, Story Time is actually syndicated in 42 different countries. Around Are you here. getting uh, checks for that stuff? No, I signed a new edition contract. No so, shit. Uh, if you don't know what that means, you got to watch the new edition story. But, oh. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, it's considered, you know, like reality TV, so yeah. they don't necessarily pay residuals like that. I don't yeah. know what the Kardashians get or anything like that, but well, it's more like them. reality drama. I'll ask them next week when they're on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, I don't I don't get residuals, but uh, it was fun being on the TV. You know, yeah. I, was, I was excited to be on television, which yeah. is well, it's the worst huge, thing you can do. It's a huge, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge boost in people who want to know you. They, they see you, and you're a special talent, so they yeah. see you, and then, especially in the UK, you just did how many shows over there? We did 25 shows, man. 25 shows? So, yeah, so other things came from it, so, you know. Yeah, and you got great at comedy, that's for sure, yeah, and yeah, you have I a did. great story to tell. I do, man. Which I enjoy listening to, Yes. even man. when you're blowing me out of the water. <laughs> all those, yeah. uh, Laura and, or Laura Lee Meyer says, all those Jello pudding pops I was traumatized. I know, man. Cos, why do you have to do that? that well, that's the worst, because I, I, I know Laura personally, and she was like, as a kid, she was just eating those pudding pops all the time, and she was just like, yeah, Bill Cosby! <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you was going to do? No, that's not Bill Cosby. How no, you, no, you no. Good no Bill Cosby? I, I, can't, I used to be able to do it. I can't do it. If you like my the, yeah, If you like I saw more like Eddie Murphy imitating Bill Cosby than <laughs> my actual Bill Cosby, man. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you talk about stand up. This dude dominated yeah. stand up comedy, doing it clean, man. Clean as clean, clean as, as possible. Whistle. Oh, thank you, Chu. <laughs> well, here's our guest star, Chula, uh, making a special appearance again, yeah. as per usual. Uh, she does not give a shit. She was a German shit. Shepherd, right? German Shepherd Husky. She's okay. a beautiful dog. And I'll just let you know. Next time when you have black guests, don't have a German Shepherd around. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should have seen Cam and. and Chula's a mutt, so she's half uh, German Shepherd, half Husky, and she's not very, she's not a very big dog. No. And I let her out, and in Camro six foot nine, yeah. this dog looked like uh, a rabbit coming up to him, and he was like, Aah! "Hey man, that that dog, I was attacked by a German Shepherd among. Actually, let me stop lying. It was a, it was a little puppy. <laughs> she bit my finger, and I, and I wanted to cry, but I was around my boys, so I didn't. Oh, that's good. And I've been petrified of uh, dogs since then, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't no, mean my, right. my sweet little baby. To scare no, you. No. <laughs> uh, no, but no, but she's cute. I like her. She's she's nice. If, as long as the dog is nice and sweet, that's fine, man. Yeah, well, yeah. She's a sweetie. She's a sweetie. I mean, she's she's like super old now. She's ten, so she's like uh, very like demanding. Like when really? she's hungry, she's like she will, she'll let you know. She gotta use the bathroom. <laughs> she'll let you know. She is not shy. She's a uh, even like right now. She's just. Wants my attention. She has this little whale that Maggie Zimmerman gave me. She oh, gave Maggie gave you that? Yeah, and then Shula uses see, right the toy. Now, see how fast she just moves? See, then I yeah. got nervous right there. You there see how she froze up? She's, Damn, she's fast, man. Um, get out of here, Shula. You're going to knock over the camera. Get out of here. I love that dog. Yeah, she's a nice dog, but she she uh, Ooh, she, she wants to be a star. You know yeah. what I mean? She's like, like uh, she's like uh, Mike Ball. <laughs> well, she's a. Well, you were just talking about uh, Kevin Hart's ex-wife. How yeah. she's a, a, a comic now. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So Kevin Hart's ex-wife. I think she was a comic a long time ago, but she kind of hid behind, not hid behind, in, in the shadows of Kevin for a while. Really? I, I don't know how serious she was. I mean, Kevin was doing it first, and then she decided that she wanted to do it. Yeah. So now she does it in L.A. and she, She's actually pretty good, man. She's, you know. Oh, does she? She's really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, she's working close. I've, I've seen her a couple times at the comedy store. She's really? Pretty good. Yeah, I think it was the comedy store. I saw her somewhere in L.A. Oh, that's that's awesome. See, that's what Chula seen me do in the podcast, and then she wants to start her own podcast with a dog talking about dogs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's just how Chula is. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, but, you know, so, I mean, like, so, like, how do you feel about that? Like, what if... Like if your girlfriend wanted to be a comedian. Well, if my girlfriend wanted to be a comedian, I think that's that's just that's tough to have two personalities like that. Like you need 
you need a yin and a yang. It can't be yeah. all. It can't be all show. You got to have somebody. You know, somebody to support you. If two people are crazy. Comedians are crazy. They're all crazy. You well. can't have two. I mean, you could. I mean, there uh, Tom Segura and uh, oh, does he? Does his wife is a uh, comedian too? I'm, yeah. Uh, all um, I know is Tom Segura. Uh, uh, Jimmy what's Kimmel and um, well, they're not together anymore. But what's her name? Forgot her name. Uh, Jewish Rashi comedian. Sarah Silverman? Sarah Silverman, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. they were together. Yeah, and they broke. Time. Matt Damon yeah. fucked that up, right? Yeah, I think. Did he? I don't know. Oh, I thought those I mean, like, he the things. He hates Matt Damon. That's yeah. Funny, he probably did. Man, and you know Matt Damon. How about those apples? All right. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. I got a friend who looks exactly like Matt Damon. Really? And, yeah, and uh, he looks exactly like him, and I was in the mall one time. When I was thin, I looked like Matt Damon. You did. I yeah, remember that. chiseled in the face. I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. I remember seen that? you. I was like, "Oh my God, is this Matt Damon? <laughs> is this stretched out Matt Damon?" Uh, but I was in the I was in the mall with him, and uh, you remember those like little fake bands, like those bands that people had for like balance, their balance bands. Yeah. And they like said they have like, a stone in them for energy that helps you like balance. And yeah. I, well, I walked by, and the guy was like trying to me. I was like, "That's bullshit." And I like kept on going, right? Yeah. But then I felt bad because he's a salesman. I'm like, "Ah, well, talk to me about it, you know, whatever." And then, and then. Uh, and then somebody walked by, and they go, oh, my God, that looks like Matt Damon. And I go, it is Matt Damon. And then all of a sudden, we had a big old circle around us, right? And I'm like, yeah. he's not signing autographs. I was making a big scene about That's it. Hilarious. And everybody was, like, just coming up. And I'm like, we got to go. Let's go. And I just took him out of there. I was like, let's get out of here. That is fucking funny. So, the people, you know, somebody went home that day. I was like, did you know that Matt Damon was at the Saginaw Fashion Square Mall? That is funny, man. I did something similar like that. Well, it actually was. I was at the NBA All-Star game, this was back in 06, and I saw um, Tyrese actually came up to me and my friend Nate, Nate's like six foot six, six foot seven. Yeah. He said, hey man, act like you guys are my security, because he wanted to get people's attention, you know, because we were just like big as fuck, right? Yeah. So, we walk around the Tyrese small... the rapper? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the, the R&B singer. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I didn't Get it together, man. Uh, all right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, so he, so he goes, I guess he was competing with, uh, with Method Man, the rapper. Yeah. Right. All right. Yeah, I know a meth man. Yeah, okay. okay I do. Yeah. You no, know, I don't know. Yeah, from fucking how high? No, I know. Uh, how high? <laughs> That's your claim to fame of knowing meth man is how high the movie. Yeah, in the Wu Tang. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's good, man. Yeah. Well, I, I know some things. So, so him and meth man are competing on who can get the most attention. Yeah. So Tyrese gives me and my boy Nate, like I'm six nine, Nate six seven. Yeah. We walk around the mall, maybe like thirty seconds. Yeah. And they see me and Nate, and they see Terry. The whole, when I tell you, the entire mall, the the Galleria. This is the Galleria in Houston. There. Oh, yeah, I've been they, there. That's yeah, a nice man, mall. The whole mall went crazy. Yeah. They went crazy, like, grabbing on them. And I was like, no, 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 you got to leave me alone. <laughs> we had to go, like, the police had to come. We had to go in, like, the black, uh, the back alleys. <laughs> the black, <laughs> the black oh, yeah. The, black, <laughs> the back alleys of the, of the mall, man, it was crazy, man. Yeah. That's then, awesome. And he told all the girls that the hotel was at our... Was at our place. Did they show up? No, nobody showed up. They didn't show up. Because <laughs> I don't think they were paying attention. They were just screaming, and going crazy over Tyree. But that was a crazy story, man. That is crazy. That's actually happened on tape too. How did you just meet? You were just walking by, and they're like, walking hey. by. He just came up to me, like, "Hey, man, act like you my security." And Method Man was like by, like nearby or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, uh, Method Man was just laughing. Yeah. And I didn't even re- recognize Method Man at first. I just saw Tyree, so I was like, "Oh shit, that's Tyree." Yeah, and then I thought he was gonna pay us. He was pulling on all his money, so he was like, he was like, yeah, just keep coming. He was like, just keep coming with us and acting like security. Then finally, we realized he wasn't paying us, and he's like, all right, man, peace out. That's funny. He just <laughs> he just tricked you into being security for real, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just security for a whole day. He didn't pay us nothing. <laughs> Come on, Tyrese, you got to pay up, man. If anybody knows Tyrese, uh, let him know, let him know that he owes Cam a hundred bucks. He does, for, man. For a day's work, or or a thousand, or a thousand. I'm charging interest, man. This was this was no. Oh yeah, that, well yeah. If it was a credit card, you definitely want. <laughs> um, and you so in what? I mean, let's get back to the UK. Uh, yeah. What was uh, what was the craziest thing that you seen over there? Man, the craziest thing over there. Well, first of all, just being recognized over there, because like I said, the show still comes on. It comes on like seven days a week out there. Holy moly! Like reruns. You're like the you're like the Saved by the Bell of the yeah UK. yeah I guess so yeah. So uh, which is weird, you know, because you come over here and nobody knows who the hell you are. But I was in Starbucks, man, and, um, like, they call me the Green Mile on the show. That's the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was at Starbucks. I just asked for a coffee, and uh, I got my coffee back, and they had wrote Green Mile on it. Yeah. Like, they just knew who I was, and the guy was like, hey, man, can I get a picture and autograph? I was like, are you talking to me? <laughs> like, see, this one I was humble, because I, you know, 
Yeah. I was like, are you, are you sure you're talking to me? Like, you're not talking to my, uh, Mike Ball, telling him good show? You're, yeah, you're yeah. <laughs> so you yeah. slipped him a dollar, like, <laughs> Yeah, then it's like, everywhere we went, man, people asked us for autographs and pictures, and I was like, wow, this is crazy. Well, I, I, I know that uh, you're happily married, correct? Yes. Happily married, Any uh, and I know you're batting them off with a... Where the flies are, get out of here! And yeah. Any any gro- any no groupie more. any groupies any big fella groupies? Well, um, you know what? There were some girls who were a little intoxicated. Yeah. Who came back in the uh, in, in our dressing room a few times. Yeah. And I said, "Excuse me, ma'am, I'm married. Please get away from me." Yeah. <laughs> no, but Mike's laughing. This is true. Yeah, it's very true. Compton, man. That's Compton, man. It's Compton. If you're listening. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah, so if anybody was thinking about coming out tonight and being a groupie for Cam. <laughs> uh, Why did my dad text me when I was talking to him about, you know, just like college and all this like stuff that's coming out? My dad was like, oh, don't worry. He's like, you ain't got no women. You ain't got no women. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to say it like that, man. Um, well, hey, man, I don't mean to cut us short, but uh, we have to have to go so we can go set up the show. Oh, this was fast. Okay, cool, Well, man. yeah, I mean, it was quick, but we got the show at 8, so we like to uh, at least go set up by 7, so we're not doing... You know, getting in front of everybody, and so yeah, so cool. the illusion of the show is still there. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see uh, Cam and myself, uh, and Lance uh, Buholtz will be there. He'll be hosting. Um, you can see us tonight at Jen's Place in Hemlock, 8 p.m., or tomorrow at Bottoms Up at 8 p.m., or in Port here on Michigan at the Eagles Club at also at 8 p.m. on Friday. That's right. Have a great evening. Peace.